the Valve Index. It's more than meets the eye, but is it worth your money? I'm going to explain it to you right now. Hello and welcome back to another NVR video. Marcus here. The Valve Index, when compared to other enthusiast grade VR kits, it has really raised the bar in the $1,000 price range. Quick side note, I will not be comparing the Index to the Rift S or the recently announced Vive Pro I as they are targeting different market segments. So the Valve Index kit, what do you get for $1,000? Let's break it down. The display, custom full RGB LED panels that display 1440 by 1600 resolution per eye that produce 50% more subpixels than OLED panels found in the current Vive Pro. This greatly increases sharpness and fidelity while reducing the screen door effect. The trade-off, you lose the deep blacks that are only found in OLED panels. Let's talk persistence. At 0.33 milliseconds, these panels are up to five times faster than the Vive Pro, so everything stays sharper while you are in motion. That means less motion sickness and nausea. Let's add a native 120 hertz refresh rate, and things like motion blur, ghosting, and god rates are significantly reduced or eliminated. It's also backwards compatible to play games that were designed to run at 80 hertz, 90 hertz, and up to the experimental 144 hertz based on your system specs. The optics. Custom stacked dual element lenses offer a larger sweet spot and are canted to give you a 130 degree field of view over the Vive Pro's 110 degrees. But Marcus, the Pimax offers 170 degree field of view and higher resolutions. That is very true and very impressive, but the Pimax is not without issues. It requires third party software and takes a bit of tinkering to get everything to work right. While the Index is first party made by Valve, specifically to run on Steam VR, and engineered by the same team responsible for making the original Vive and the Vive Pro, so you know what to expect. Next, pass through. The Index has a pair of global shutter RGB cameras with 960 by 960 resolution, enabling compute vision, an AI form of pattern recognition that's used widely in smartphones today, and stereo pass through, similar to the Vive Pro, only sharper and in color. The speakers, that's right, speakers, not headphones. With ultra near field flat panel off ear speakers, toting a full frequency range, creating realistic and spatial sound with a huge sound stage that will leave you fully immersed in VR. With full comfort as they apply zero pressure to your ears and they generate no heat. The trade off off ear speakers mean sound bleed so others can hear your gaming. And you will also be able to hear sounds from your environment that may break immersion. With that said, a headphone jack is available so you can use whatever headphones you desire. Microphones. Dual stereo microphones properly positioned so heavy breathing during intense games of Beat Saber are no longer picked up. Ergonomics. With physical IPD and eye relief adjustments, you can fine tune your visual experience while dialing in the comfort with a deluxe audio style head strap. The Frunk. A front expansion slot with a USB 3 port so modders can upgrade as they see fit. The Index Controllers. I can go into full detail as to say why full hand presence in VR is such a game changer. But I won't waste your time with all that. But Marcus, the Pimax SwordSense does the same thing. And you may be right, but the Pimax SwordSense was just announced for pre-order. Requires a $300 deposit with very little information about it. Outside of it being a knuckle style controller that's compatible with Steam and Oculus through Pimax software, while the knuckles have been thoroughly tested and vetted by the entire VR and tech community over the past two years. With all that said, a full index kit comes in at $1,000, while the cheapest Pimax kit starts at $699 for the headset and requires a $300 deposit for the controllers and the Pimax variation of Steam VR base stations. So that there totals to $1,100 and we don't know what the end price is yet. Then there's the Vive Pro kit that comes in at $1,399. Do you feel the Valve Index is worth your money in the $1,000 price? range? Personally, I do, on the sole fact that the Index Kit is 100% first party made by Valve specifically for Steam VR designed for gamers. So what are your thoughts on the Valve Index? I really want to know. Please let me know in the comments. And as always, I'm Marcus. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.